Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Mary City here, back for a video. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to title this. It's not a match day experience because there isn't a match today. Uh, but it's certainly going to be an experience of some sort. I'm absolutely buzzing for this. Basically, what's happening is I'm about to leave for Germany. Now, why am I going to Germany? Well, if you're a Norwich fan, you probably know Norwich have had their pre-season tour out there. Uh, we've already played one game, which I didn't go to, obviously. I'm still in England. But we've got another game tomorrow against a team called Bielefeld, I think. I'm not even too sure who we're playing. Basically, they're a second division German team, but they have a massive stadium. I think it's like 30,000, which is big. Uh, it's bigger than Carrow Road. Uh, anyway... I've never followed Norwich abroad before. I think the furthest I've seen Norwich play is Newcastle, Sunderland, which, which of them is further. Uh, so, this is going to be the first time that I've used my passport to watch Norwich City. I've got my, my checklist done because I like to be organised when I'm packing. Let me show you what I'm taking. So, come through here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, we have got basically a suitcase filled with shorts and Norwich City shirts. Today, I'm rocking the Ricky Van Wolfswinkle Norwich City away shirt, which is, um, yeah, an, an interesting choice. And I've just eaten a bacon and egg sandwich and managed not to spill any yolk down me. It was, in fact, a duck egg, which means the yolk was very, a lot larger, basically, than your standard chicken egg. So that is a success. I feel like the groundwork is set now for a good holiday. I've got all my electrical equipment packed, which is going to be a very interesting ride through security, having to take all that out and repack it, so sorry about that. Anyway, who am I going with? I'm going with Nev, who you obviously know if you've watched the match day experiences. The plan of action is I'm driving from mine to his in Norwich. He's driving to Stansted. We fly from Stansted to Dortmund. We get the train from Dortmund to Bielefeld, where we're staying in a fairly pucker hotel by the looks of things that Nev's booked. And then uh, it's like a five minute walk from the hotel to the ground tomorrow. So this is the first ever abroad Norwich City away day type thing on Talk Norwich City. Hopefully not the end and not the last. Let's see. I have not got a clue what to expect. Let's see what we get up to. Right, so we are nearly at Stansted. Here with Nev. Morning. You good? I'm good, mate. Very good. Very European good. tour. I know. This is this is your first time following Norwich abroad as well, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is, mate. Yeah. You've um you've been to a fair few places, but never Germany with Norwich City. Anyway, I've got the, uh, the schedule. Never's got Daniel Farker on the front. Uh, all of our info. We've got Ryanair boarding passes, Queen rooms. That was very posh. <laughs> Gone posh with the hotel. Only the best for us, mate. Oh, what, what can I say? But we're nearly at uh, Stansted. We got here very quick, actually. We are. Uh, What's the time? 10 to 11? When's our flight? Uh, one o'clock. <coughs> ah, loads of time. Have a, have a nice little coffee, settle in, and then get on the Ryanair flight. So we're here, the joys of Stansted Airport, very busy. Luckily we've only got a hand luggage, so we ain't got to check any bags in. Nev's got his headphones looking like a footballer. <laughs> He'll put them on going through uh, arrivals. Yeah. But um, through security is going to be interesting with this backpack. I'm pretty much going to have to unpack it all because it's just electricals and electricals and toiletries. So um, yeah, this could be interesting. Right, we've found our way to our gate. Just the half an hour delay. Flying into Dortmund on the lovely Ryanair. The amusing thing about all of this is that it's probably taken the same amount of time to get from my house to Dortmund as the time it takes to get from my house to Newcastle on the Club Canary. So, European away days could actually be quicker than some away days in England if this flight isn't delayed much longer. <laughs> I don't actually think I've changed since 2014. I've just stayed the same. Just got a little bit more facial hair. Warmer 
and one of my ears is still blocked from the flight. Uh, there it is, so I need to try and find him. Decent flight, a bit cramped, but we did have to check our bags in the end, so we're going to have to go collect them. But they're all good. Dortmund's looking uh, bare, very bare. Warm though, that'll do. It's so sunny, I've had to put the sunglasses on, but we're at Dortmund Airport, we're now the bus to the train station. The first sticker is up. If you want some stickers, links in the description. Found them, found some other Norwich fans. Good old boys. Lovely and sunny. And we've also just found out that there's free beer at the game tomorrow. 1,863 litres of free beer donated by the Stuttgart president. We're not even playing Stuttgart. We're playing Bielefeld. There's free beer. And I'm already pumped. Right, we're now on the train from Ham, I think it's called, Ham, H-A-A-M, to Bielefeld. But this train is mega. Look, first of all, sleeping pods. Go in there if you want to snooze. Absolutely lovely. Nice little advertising boards. Big fan of that too. Now we get to the restaurant area. Now we're in first class. This is Parker. Look at this. So, moral of the story, Greater Anglia need to pick up their game uh, to think, German standards. Yeah, because this is the dream. I mean, look at the leg room. Foot, foot rest, magazines. I'm easily pleased, I am, I am. We've arrived in Bielefeld, the location of Norwich's game against Bielefeld. Looks quite picturesque, actually. It looks like it's been chucking it down. It's very sunny and very warm now, quite humid. We're going to try and find a bar, then we'll go to our hotel, get showered, then find another bar, Good idea. and then eat. Um, I think that is the uh, plan of action for tonight. Bia Martin looks like the uh, bar of choice. There is a Carlsberg logo, which is positive to me. Lovely. Hello. Good old boy. Cute little pub. And this is the team we're playing tomorrow. Bielefeld. I think he said this flag is also Bielefeld as well. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So, just arrived in my hotel room. Uh, we're staying at a place called Charlie's Hotel. It's like 50 quid a night, pretty good value. And the room is actually quite decent. We've got a nice little telly. We've got a half decent view. It's hardly. Five star standard, but you know, it'll do. We've got a nice little piece of art on the bed head. We've got a sink, uh, mirror, towels, hello. Um, more mirrors, toilet, shower. You can't moan, we're like five minutes from the ground. Um, we've got pubs all around us. We've just been drinking some incredible Czech beer. I feel like this is gonna be a good couple of days. So I'm about to have a shower. It's been a long, well, I said a long day of traveling. It was a 55 minute flight, but um, it feels like we've been on our feet for a while. Have a shower, go get some food, more beer, stick some stickers about, and uh, feel optimistic about Norwich City. I'll let you admire this funky carpet while I'm on the phone to Lloyd's because my account has been hacked into, I think, which isn't good because I kind of need my credit card. Someone's uh, got into it basically, so I need to try and fix it. Not the ideal start. And in that street, I think, should be here. Find out where we're it's tonight. Called Johan Albrecht. Good old boy. Uh, that on my bank account, I've had to suspend it because someone tried to get into it. Luckily, they didn't take any money, but they got in, so I've suspended it. Lloyd's Banking on point in terms of security. Well, they hacked in, but then I stopped them hacking. So Lloyd's, well done. So we've ventured out of the hotel and apparently this is going to be where everyone's drinking tomorrow. Well, the few Norwich fans that have travelled, we thought it'd be a good idea to come here for food. No food. No food here. So Nev, where are we going now? You, you um, know. Julian from the uh, hotel's recommended uh, John... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, so we're going to walk back there now. So uh, let's see. Hopefully we'll get something to eat there. Nice. So we're on the, we're on the old school maps. That guy, uh, that German... So you chat YouTube, probably doesn't know he where did, I am. He did, he did chat uh, YouTube. Probably just thinks I'm a bit strange. Um, so let's try and find some food because I'm absolutely starving. It's been ages since I've eaten. 
Right, we have found our place. Apparently, this is the best place to go. Authentic German food and beer. That sounds good to me. Let's see how we get in. Around the back. Hmm. Interesting. It's busy with locals. That must be good. Let's get some food. I am starving. We have beer. We have an abundance of food. Me, me and Ned uh, are very happy in this, uh, in this place. Very good indeed. Right, we've eaten our food. It was lovely. Now we seem to have stumbled upon some kind of live entertainment. It's a Wednesday night in the middle of Edenfield and it's popping off with the local. I don't know what's going on. I'm having another beer and I'm enjoying it. What time is it Sunday? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we want to whiskey for you. Let's finish, man. The orange juice. <laughs> yes, <yeah. laughs> My body's a shrine. <laughs> He's got over food. It's a disease, so he can't drink, you know. Don't get too close. So, day one of the Germany trip is over. It's currently 1 42 in the morning. It's been a long day. Uh, there's quite a few Norwich fans out here, actually. We met up with some tonight. Me and Nev met up with some uh, Norwich fans. All good. Tomorrow is the big one though. That is when we're taking on Bielefeld. I'm buzzing for it. I'm buzzing to see Norwich play um, in another country. I'm not sure if you would have enjoyed today. There's been no football, uh, but I guess that's all part of following Norwich City abroad. So if you have enjoyed it, drop it a like, hit subscribe, because there's gonna be loads of content over the next few days in Germany from the Norwich City Tour. Thank you so much for watching today. It's been a bit of a strange one, but as I said, that's all part of the package. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. See you later.